G'day guys, my name is Don and welcome to my channel Don Astronomy. Today I'm filming in my veggie garden because I can. Why not? I filmed everywhere else. I filmed inside my house. I filmed under the balcony in my house. I filmed down the side of my house. I filmed outside of my house on occasions. I filmed in my observatory on multiple, on multiple occasions. I filmed in my workshop i've even filmed in the swimming pool so today i'm filming here nice change today's video however is about a new telescope that i've just purchased and i've been wanting this telescope for a couple of years now and i've finally got it it is the ascar fra 400 quintuplet this little telescope is going to kind of be my main travel rig telescope so won't be using it as much in the observatory but I will be using it on my little travel rig. So let's um, pull this out have a look at it and have a chat about it. I don't usually do unboxing videos but uh, let's have a look. Okay there she is out of the box. It's a lovely bit of kit. I've been having a look at it, admiring it. It's um, photos and videos don't do it justice. The, um, I'll go over some reasons why I bought this and, and, and some specs at the same time. Um, this was mainly uh, to be used as my travel rig. I've currently got a Skywatch 50ED as my main scope on my travel rig. I've got a Star Adventure GTI mount. So I'm happy, hoping that this is going to be a good combination for that. So it's, I also have an observatory as well, so um, um, it just gives me a lot of flexibility now having um, both setups and it uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a travel rig, I can use it as a second rig outside. So the reasons I bought this, and I'll talk as I go along, I'll, I'll, I'll describe, there's an aluminium juice shield which is quite uh, nice powder coated, uh, nice feel to it. Um, the lens is a 72 millimeter in aperture um, and there's my pretty face down there the it is natively 400 as it says on the side 400 millimeters at f5.6 now there is also a reducer you can purchase for this as well unfortunately for me they didn't have it in stock I bought this from a, a store called Testar in Sydney in Australia and I buy a lot of equipment off those guys and they've been very good to deal with and they, they they ship fast and I'm out in the country so that's really handy I've had some embarrassing situations where I've fried my Zato focuser which is on another video um, and uh, they had to get parts from that from Italy but they still got me up and running really quickly within a couple of weeks and uh, so they're good to deal with the um, 0.7 reducer for this uh, brings it down to 280 millimeters at f3.9 so that's quite a uh, large chunk of the sky and reasonably fast the lens in this is quite beautiful as well it's an object the objective lens in this it's a quintuplet in design so it's ready to go as an astograph it's got a built-in fill flattener so you don't even need a fill flattener it's got two dual air space apochromatic refractor lenses in here so it's a quintuplet and uh, the back focus also is amazing so there's a three inch rack and pinion focuser on this and the quality is really good there's no play it's really smooth and it's got a massive 140 millimeter of back focus length so you can get anything you want all your accessories filter wheels off-axis guiders um, electronic focuses you name it and you don't even need to find space for a rotator because unless you want an electronic rotator which there's plenty of room for as well with the back focus because it's got one built in and uh, it's also got the finer scope bracket attached to the side and it's got a image circle of 44 millimeters which is crazy so it's that, that's really good I can put a full frame sensor on this if I had one one day I hope I, I will have but at the moment I've got my biggest sensor is 28 millimeters so I'm expecting that to to, to have no issues with that on this um, telescope. The, um, the overall length is 317 millimeters, so it should fit and replace my Skywatch ED in the case reasonably well. 
that's weight is 2.88 kilograms. That's the whole thing as you see it, including the, the handle of brackets, the dovetail bar. Um, and I think the, uh, the weight of the OTA itself, and I'd have to be corrected here, is 2.5 kilograms. I don't know if I forgot to mention, but it has a built-in dew shield. I might have done that one, but if I haven't, well, it does. So looking forward to getting first light on this. Next step now, I think I'll just start to mount this on my Star Adventure GTI and get everything hooked up. And uh, I hope it's gonna, I'm gonna go really close to my five kilograms or I, I could be just over by the time my computer and my gyroscope and everything and my cameras get on this, so we'll see. So here's my little travel rig and uh, I've got the Skywatcher 50ED here. So I'm gonna replace this now with the FRA 400, but I'll need to swap the uh, dovetail brackets over because the FRA 400 is only small and I need to um, put my computer on. So I'll do that now, but because it requires a few tools, I'm gonna to take this to the observatory where I've got my fold down workbench and all my um, tools on the wall beside it, which will just make it a lot easier. So let's go and do that. So I won't need this adapter here, which basically brings it down to 1.25 for 1.25 eyepieces or 1.25 inch fittings. So I'll lose that. Now the camera, that, so this is a 264C color and it's already got the filter wall uh, drawer attached. And that will should just slip straight in there now. And that's just a very, very simple connection. Happy with that. And guys go. Now I just need to mount my computer and hopefully it's going to fit on the front here, but we'll go and see. All right, let's get this baby on. Now I will, um, I'll balance it later. I just want to make sure the computer fits. So that's my computer there and uh, I mount it onto the dovetail saddle via this clamp here and that's so that I can interchange it with uh, other telescopes and even when I'm doing wide fill with my um, Sony A6400 I've got a mount that goes onto its own dovetail and this computer can slip on that. It just makes it easy for me to pole align because it's really hard in the southern hemisphere to do that. So I can use PhD2 drift align or something similar to do that which we need to do over here unfortunately. Just mount My camera. That high pitch noise you hear in the background is the inverter for the house. We're off grid here and it's hot and it's complaining. Uh, fans going crazy trying to keep cool. Voila! All ready for, uh, for first light. Exciting stuff. Look at that. Wonderful.